Russia, you got me. So, you know, I come down the stairs, there's three FBI agents there, two men, two white men, uh, one white woman. They start grilling me over, you know, what I'm doing, what my organizations are doing. You know, if I know about this organization, that organization, am I going to Chicago? Do I want to go to Chicago? You know, is there anything going to happen there? Um, you know, and I've always been a peaceful activist. I, you know, the most illegal thing I ever do is jaywalk. I guess maybe I should admit that on television, but I mean, you know, that's it. Uh, and yet, they feel like it's perfectly acceptable to come harass me in my home, you know, you know, knock on my door and grill me about a bunch of questions. You know, they don't, they don't grill tea partiers like that. They don't grill Republicans or Democrats, but somehow they feel like I have to be, you know, harassed. And you know what, basically said, you know, this is none of your business because you know, I, I still have freedom to travel, freedom of speech, to speak out against NATO and the war machine. And it's just absolutely ridiculous that my movements, you know, um, peaceful, you know, movements across the United States are, are being questioned and grilled. And I have to wonder and be anxious of, is today the day the FBI agents are going to pay me a call? Whereas, you know, that's not something that every other American has to deal with. And I think it's unacceptable. Um, I feel like I'm doing this whole war, but, um, I would feel like that's going to send a chill down your spine. I mean, some people would get belligerent and say, oh, you know, but other people would get very nervous about it. And I guess some people imply that that's what the intention of the knock on your door was. No, absolutely. I mean, uh, obviously, I'm not going to be scared. I'm not going to be intimidated. And I would encourage everyone else to, you know, stand up for their rights, not be scared, not be intimidated. You know, it's a really anxious feeling to know that at any point, you know, the FBI, which is a huge national law enforcement agency, can be looking at you and, and trying to find out, well, who are you talking to? Where are you going? You know, so it's really increased a lot of anxiety in my life, but I'm, I'm not going to be intimidated. So that's why I'm here. That's why I, you know, marched and spoke out today, and that's why I'm going to march and, and, you know, show solidarity tomorrow. Uh, so this happened about a week ago. Yeah, I think actually it's... A uh, week and a day. Uh, it was. I think it was literally last Friday. Was there anything that just seemed? Did they ask you anything that just seemed sort of out of left field? Like ninety percent of them probably directly related to your work or something. That oh yeah. I mean, they they asked if I was going to Chicago. You know, um, it's none of their business where I've gone to Chicago. It has nothing to do with me or the work I've done. Uh, you know, I, I do. You know, like our current campaign is fighting for the cosmetology school. You know, and they're asking us if we're going to get violent and break windows, and it's not what we're about. So that by itself was out of left field. But then they asked me on whether I'm going to Chicago. You know, it, it's not related to anything I do in Utah. And yet they feel like they, they, get, they get to ask me and track my news. It's completely unexpected. Safe to say you're. My name is Gregory Lucero, and I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah. So you came out here for the NATO summit? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, all 26 hours of the drive, straight, all the way through. What was your primary motivation for coming out? Well, I mean, my primary motivation for coming out is twofold, which is to protest the NATO war machine. It's the single, single largest military uh, alliance that the empire has. They use it to invade countries and basically bully every other country around the world. And then also, you know, that's the foreign arm, but to protest uh, the FBI, the repression against anti-war activists and Carlos Montes, which is the domestic arm. You know, they're two sides of the uh, same coin. NATO is for uh, other countries. The FBI is for our country. And, you know, I don't accept either of those. And I reject that either us here domestically because of the FBI or people around the world because of NATO need to live in fear. We should have a world where nobody has to live in fear.